You know what I noticed about life is the hardest place in life to reach is the middle. And what I mean by the middle is to the people that are rich and have been rich, it's easy to get rich. And for the people that are poor and broke and miserable, it seems too easy to be that way. It seems like you almost didn't have a choice in the matter. But those that are poor and poor or rich and really rich could never find the middle. And I feel like there's people that can survive the poorest of the poor. And there's people that can survive the richest of the rich. And vice versa, there is people that cannot. And those people, I believe, belong in the middle. And with all of this, I'm saying we all belong somewhere on the spectrum. We all belong somewhere in the ascension and descension of ways of life. We all belong on that. And the ones that belong and are where they belong survive. And the ones that don't and aren't won't. And I feel like Mac Miller, especially being the most recent case was somebody that needed to live in the middle because I ask people, I ask people and I mentioned to people that, you know, if he wasn't rich and famous, do you think he would be dead at 26 because of a drug overdose? And they all look at me and kind of like, give me that same look like, well, if he was going to do drugs, he was going to do drugs. It was going to be, now you're telling me if he found a spot perfectly in the middle, Give him a chance from the start, from scratch, if he found his way to maybe a community college, which got him a job that earned him $80,000 a year, and he buys a house that costs him, you know, $2,500 a year in property tax, and his mortgage is $1,200 plus some electric, so he's keeping up, he's catching up, and he's got something to focus on. Would he be the person that would take drugs and die and overdose? I don't believe so. But for him, his life was two choices. Be rich and famous and everybody knows your name. Or be broke and hungry and maybe fall into the category. Either way, and people all come to the same assumption that whether he was rich and famous or poor and broke, he would have died of the same thing. So I say to you, with that, is there a middle ground that people are meant for that is reachable but harder to obtain than being extremely rich or extremely poor?